How did the nuclear age affect international relations? By Joe Nash. Introduction. The nuclear age has had its pros and cons. It benefits our lives, but it can also prevent us from living normal ones, if any at all. In this presentation, I plan to talk about the good and bad points of nuclear, touching on history, modern technology, and energy. The good. Nuclear energy is considered to be one of the best energies we have in this day and age. This is great for the environment since, as you know, we need to cut down on CO2 emissions. Nuclear energy is much more efficient than gas or coal. For every gram of uranium used in nuclear fission to produce energy, we would have to burn three tons of coal to produce the same amount. Even when power plants started in 1954 in Obstinsk near Moscow, the first nuclear power plant was incredibly efficient. It could power over 2,000 homes. This idea was obviously recognized throughout the world, as now there are over 400 power plants scattered across the globe. And to this day, nuclear power plants are still being used and being modified to become more efficient, cheaper to build, easier to decommission, and safer to use. For example, Britain has just had its plans accepted for new nuclear power plants to be built by 2020. These hope to provide over 20% of Britain's energy, so we can stop relying on coal and gas sent from Norway. In consequence, this will make our country more self-reliable. Today in France, 95% of the energy we use is nuclear. Not only can it be used for energy, but also nuclear technology can be used in medicine. An example of this would be if you had cancer in your thyroid gland. You could consume a radioactive substance such as iodine-131. In the human body, iodine is naturally absorbed into the thyroid, whatever isotopic is. So the iodine-131 would be absorbed into the cancerous thyroid, and as the particles were released from iodine-131, they would kill the cancerous cells. Also, companies and health agencies have irradiated food with nuclear isotopes, meaning it will kill insects and bacteria which could be hidden in the food. The bad. Unfortunately, there are also bad aspects to the nuclear age. For example, when nuclear fission was discovered, J. Robert Oppenheimer started work on the atomic bomb in something called the Manhattan Project, a project so secretive that only when Harry S. Truman became the President of America did he hear about it. At the end of World War II, August 6th, 1945, a little boy was dropped on Japan, in Hiroshima, after an ultimatum was ignored. Three days later, a fat man, a much bigger atomic bomb, was dropped on Nagasaki. Nagasaki was a town mainly consisting of civilians. These two are the only examples of nuclear bombing ever to have taken place. Overall, the attacks killed 200,000 people. It also spread nuclear dust into the atmosphere around the east. The damage was excessive, and blackened bodies lay on the ground. The survivors left burned and traumatised. The scepticism over the bombings is that was Nagasaki even necessary? Japan was surrendering, and the USA ordered another bomb to be dropped. Was it just for testing? Can humans actually be that cruel? To give you an idea of how it happened according to a survivor, here is an extract from a woman who fled to America and recorded to herself what had happened. I felt a very strong flash under my eyelid. The flash as if, as if the strong magnesium was burned. And I heard a tremendous explosion and was blown away feeling the very heavy pressure. I must have been unconscious for a while. When I came to myself, everywhere was so dark and the painful screams for help from everywhere came into my ears. And I realized that I was, I was trapped under the debris and couldn't move my legs. And I tried to call for help, but felt the lump at the back of my throat and, and didn't have strength to cry. The other smoke started covering and nearly choked me. And then I started screaming, but nobody came. Nobody came to the fire 
broke out near me. All of a sudden, I saw the two strong hands ready to pull me up, and I clung to them till I came out to open air. That moment, the burning building behind the Hiroshima station collapsed, and so no more of the young soldier who helped me but his heavy army boots. But I had no time to feel anything and just run with a ceaseless line of injured people, not knowing where I was going. Very strange to say, they were all naked, their skin peeling off, all of their hair burnt off, and yet without any emotion on their faces. Falling over the debris and feeling the fire behind me, I just ran till the familiar voice called my name. When I turned back, I was very shocked to see one of my classmates changed figure trapped under the big debris. I tried my best to pull her up and remove the big debris, but the fire soon spread and I could hardly breathe and had to leave her behind, tearing my hands off from her tight grip, listening her painful screams for help, getting weaker and further behind me. After this, the nuclear arms race began. It all started with the Manhattan Project, USSR and USA competing for power. As you know, the USA detonated their two bombs in Japan, and USSR were only four years behind when they detonated a controlled explosion in 1949, a fat man bomb. India and Pakistan then joined the race, when, with India detonating the Peaceful Buddha, an ironic title in a controlled environment. Today we have the USA, USSR, the UK, France, China, India, Pakistan, North Korea, and possibly Israel, who won't admit to having, a, having or not having a program. Everyone is trying to protect themselves from one another. We are using nuclear weaponry as a balance of power. We don't intend to use them, but it's just a matter of time before we do. Lastly, Chernobyl, a nuclear reactor incident in the Ukraine. Thousands of deaths have occurred from the fallout that spread across Europe, with fatal cancers, and a hundred thousand expected to rise to our concern in the near future. Why it was an important question at the time. Whether nuclear was a good or a bad thing when the Second World War ended and the arms race began was an important question, because it rose ethical issues on whether we should or shouldn't build nuclear arms. On one hand, we could have great power, and on the other, we could destroy the world as we know it. In the back of our minds, we all know that there will be a nuclear war at some point. Whether it will be in our lifetime, we don't know, nor our children's. All that we do know is that it is inevitable. Why is this still an important issue? Nowadays, I find this to be an even more important issue. With the energy crisis affecting us, and climate change, we must question if we should develop nuclear technology. Also now, there are many more countries in the nuclear arms race so it's a great danger to all of us. Nuclear armament is the only way we can guarantee the safety of our planet. Thank you very much for listening.